हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर लाइकिंग डिफरेंट वीडियोस ऑन माय चैनल अबाउट स्पार्क इंटरव्यू अबाउट बिग डेटा इंटरव्यू अबाउट हडूप इंटरव्यू एंड अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट व्हाई वी कॉल डेटा सेट्स टाइप सेफ व्हाट डू वी मीन फ्रॉम टाइप सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ डेटा सेट वेन आई आज दिस क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग एन इंटरव्यू यू नो most of time there is silence so some people answer this question that uh, what do type safety in data set means and uh, uh, but most of time you know uh, they are also not clear because they might have read this question from a blog uh, and they try to answer it but they are not able to explain it practically after knowing this answer from you your interviewer will be clear that have you Uh, do you actually understand what data sets are or uh, you have just read the answer from the blog and uh, you are answering that over uh, uh, you know this interview so uh, i hope this video will be useful for you uh, before we get into practical aspects of this question uh, i want to request you guys to please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends uh, please also let us know that what kind of uh, more questions you want us to cover and uh, uh, you know uh, if any question you have faced during interview and you want to share it with the audience and uh, you know uh, any specific topic you want to understand and you want us to make a video on, on that please share with us we'll be very happy to cover that as part of our channel uh, let us start with our practical part of this uh, interview question <laughs> okay let us start with the coding stuff so we'll start with uh, importing spark implicits meantime i will submit my code spark implicit is imported i will create a class person with two things and uh, name and age cool let us create some data what data is also created now let us create a rdd okay the command is cool we have already now let us create a data frame cool we have got a data frame now let us see what is the schema of this data frame cool now we have printed the schema of our data frame let us try to do some filter operation on our data frame age greater than 10 this will give me an error so spark comes and tells me that age is not a column in 
our data frame. This is ridiculous actually. So that's what I mean that uh, the compiler doesn't know that what are the columns it has, right? So let us try to do the same thing using a data set. We have created a data set. Now let us do the same operation on our data set. Cool. I am able to do a proper operation on our data set by you know getting the column. I can use the columns. I can use the structure of my uh, uh, you know my uh, data set and then I can specifically very easily define the uh, stuff. Here uh, I can do that you know I cannot use the column age but I can say x dot get get uh, first column and then typecast it to uh, integer and then apply this operation. So this is the route that I have to take with data frames. So I have to do a lot of casting and I have to take risk of uh, making my code unmaintainable. So that's what I mean from typecasting at compile time your uh, you are aware that these are the columns at my disposal and the compiler will not let you do a uh, operation which is not applicable to the column so that's what i mean from type safety you will not get surprises in your production environment in uh, in your runtime environment uh, by get in uh, if you get some data so I hope this video was useful. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends also.